time is it? Did I oversleep? All right, looks, look like it's still dark outside, but it looks like the sun's about to come up. Um, hey, hey guys, uh, this is Mr. Hickerson. Um, I wanted to let you guys know I was just recording myself. This is a time capsule. I just wanted to let you guys know that um, some of my homeboys was talking about this guy by the name of James Edward Orgathorpe, and he was saying that uh, if there was a couple of people that wanted to go over uh, to this new world or, or this new colony that was going to be named after King George II, which was going to be called the Colony of Georgia. It was going to actually be the 13th colony that was going to be set up uh, 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 in, the, uh, in the Americas. Um, they were, uh, one of my homeboys was saying that uh, James Oglethorpe came up with this idea because he was saying he was trying to help uh, people like me and, and some other of us that, you know, couldn't really find jobs and, you know, we were struggling and, you know, we were just getting in a lot of debt because if, if we didn't have any jobs, we, we couldn't pay our bills. And if we couldn't pay our bills, they were going to send us to jail. So um, he came up with this plan and he, he wanted to help some of us. Now, actually, that plan didn't actually go through from what I've heard. But uh, there was a couple of people that had to fill out an application process and we had to agree to a couple of the rules uh, of the colony. Um, I was actually chosen now. I'm trying to be a little quiet because... I know all of my friends weren't chosen, but I just wanted to give some of you all a heads up that there is going to be another application process that you guys can fill out. And just so you guys know, uh, there were a couple of things that they were saying that uh, we had to do in order to be accepted to go. So so that you'll know what's going on. It was saying that if you're chosen, all of us were going to have to defend the colony. That means if a war or a battle breaks out. All of us have to fight with no question at all. Also, it said that the land that was given to us, if we don't have any sons, uh, we can't give it to our daughters. If all we have is daughters, we can only pass our land on to a male heir. Also, if we if we have any financial difficulties, we can't sell our land. The land that they're going to give us, we're going to have to use that land um, to cultivate the land. And cultivate basically means that we're going to grow crops uh, uh, and different types of uh, uh, resources that England needs for us to ship back over to England so that they don't have to worry about importing these goods from France, Spain, and Russia, or even trying to find a route to India or China to get some of these resources. Another thing that they were telling us that we're going to have to do is uh, uh, grow mulberry trees so that these silkworms can eat uh, these leaves and create silk so that we can use the silk for clothing and we're going to basically ship that back over to England as well so also they told us that like for instance with me I don't have a lot of money so since I'm chosen to go uh, they're going to give me uh, and a few others uh, that are accepted to go 50 acres of land and they're going to give us enough uh, food uh, uh, to eat for up to a year but it's going to be up to us after that year to cultivate the land and grow all the different crops uh, that we'll need to eat also, uh, now I heard that there's some others that are kind of quite wealthy that are going to be able to go. Guess what? They're going to give them 500 acres of land along with to help them cultivate that land. They're going to be able to take 10 indentured servants uh, that are kind of like me that can kind of go over and work the land for about 10 years just to work off their debt. So I just wanted to let you guys know. But listen, they told us that we can only take five things on this trip now that doesn't include our clothes so if you're chosen you need to think about the five things that you're going to take uh the five things that i've chosen to take here let me show you real quick um what i'm thinking about listen i don't know how long this trip is going to be with us crossing over the atlantic ocean so i'm actually going to uh bring my ipod so that i can listen to some music i'm also going to bring a journal um because you know all the amazing things that we may uh, uh, see, I want to, you know, keep record of it. So hopefully when I come back to England, if I decide to come back or or if I can maybe ship this back over to England to let some of my friends and family members know what's going on, they'll kind of know from this journal that I'm keeping. And also just the fact just for my family, just to have history of me going over to this new colony, uh, which is going to be called Georgia, they'll know all the great things that I was able to do when I was in this new colony with me keeping this journal. But not only am I going to write down everything, 
I'm also going to take my camera. So I figured if I take some pictures, and this is a digital camera, so, you know, I can store it with a lot more things. So if I take a lot of different pictures, you know, uh, I can pass this down as well uh, through my family uh, lineage so that they'll know all the different things uh, that I was able to see and all the different things that I was able to do. Now, uh, all of my family isn't able to go, so I know I'm going to kind of miss them. So what I've decided to do is also take this family portrait of my family. So therefore, if I kind of get a little homesick, I'll be able to just kind of look at these uh, pictures of my family so that I don't forget them. And then all of y'all know, y'all know I love sports. Now, since I'm not going to be able to watch any of the basketball and football games over here, what I'm going to have to make sure that I do is I'm going to bring my basketball. Because look, y'all know now I can't I can't get cold on my skills, so I got to make sure I keep practicing. So what I figured when I'm finished working my land, the 50 acres that I'm going to receive, maybe some of the other colonists that have some time, or what I've heard also is there's some Native Americans that are there as well called the Yamacraw Indian Tribe. So maybe I could make friends with some of them, and maybe we could take some time to play basketball. So guys, I just need you all to take this serious. I'm telling you, I really believe that this is going to be a great thing for us to go to. So if you get an opportunity to fill out the application, go ahead and do that and go ahead and start thinking about the five things that you're going to bring to this new colony. Now, remember, clothes isn't included. You already know that you're going to have to bring clothes, but you need to write down the five things that you're going to take and explain why you're going to take it. Now, if you guys haven't seen this commercial that I've been watching on TV, I'm telling you, you need to see this commercial. This is the only way that I found out, along with one of my boys that told me. So, guys, if you're, I hope that you're able to come. Now, I got to get out of here because I see the sun's about to rise. So, I got to go so that I can make sure that I don't miss this ride. All right, guys, take care.